Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Archers. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well, Sagittarius. Hope you've been taking care of yourselves, eating plenty of fruit and vegetables, and taking care of that beautiful, sexy temple of yours, Archers, as it take care of you, my loves. Welcome back. Come on in. Have a seat. We're going to see what messages Source, your guardian angels, and your ancestors have here for you today. Shout out to the Evolving Spirits. Shout out to the Patreon Soul family as well. Thank each and every one of you all for your continuous love and support. I appreciate you, Archers. Your love never goes unnoticed, Soul Tribe, on this platform. And welcome back, Sage, to the ones that are new here. It is also a pleasure to assist each and every one of you all. Definitely if today's content or reading here today fulfills and resonates for you. Don't forget to like, like, subscribe, my loves. We would love to have you here, Archers, a part of our soul family here as well. Thank you so much for your comments and your feedback down below. I appreciate you, Archers. Be sure to adjust your notification bell as well for when I go live on this platform, Sagittarius. I do go live throughout the week for all Zodiac sign readings. If you would love to stop by and get a check in there before you get your day started. I also go live for love live stream questions towards the weekend. If you would have any love questions that you would love for me to assist you with, definitely be sure to adjust your notification bell to receive notification for when I go live on this platform, Sagittarius, all right? This week, we have been focusing in on the color green. Yes, we've been focusing in this week on our heart chakra and ways to spiritually, mentally, and emotionally evolve, all right? So no further ado, we're going to dive into your reading here today. We're first going to start with a message from the Kipper deck here to see what's beneath the surface here for you. Then we're going to dive into tarot land here and see what's going on in your love life. And then we'll finish up with the raw tarot deck that I created to get more details and insight for you. 222 two, two is the number that I just seen on the clock for you. That could be very significant. The number two, which talks about coming into balance with yourself spiritually, mentally, and emotionally. All right, so let's move forward. Let's see what's going on for archers. Wow. 35 breaks down to the number eight, loves. All right. Pathway. Your guardian angels and your ancestors here want you to know that it's time to choose a new direction. All right, Sagittarius, it's time to follow your intuition here. As you can see, the butterflies are leading and guiding you on your journey so butterflies may be very significant right now some of y'all might find yourself seeing butterflies while you're outside some of y'all if you're going out for a walk or to the park or just around in your neighborhood in your area you may see butterflies okay that's a sign of transformation all right things have changed okay you're going into a new frequency vibration here for yourself and you're going down a new pathway so be sure to follow your intuition Sagittarius and use your discernment because you're going on a new pathway here that your guardian angels and your ancestors is guiding you all right so know that you're being spiritually protected and guided Sagittarius at this time okay wow beautiful messages for what's underneath the surface here I love it archers so let's now dive into your love life let's see what's coming towards you for love Ooh, we have the chariot card here. That's definitely that energy of moving forward or moving on, right? The chariot card here is Count Syrian energy here. Sagittarius, some of y'all, this particular person here may be a counselor, all right? But this card particularly indicates that you are now realizing that situations or circumstances or behaviors or patterns from your past, you no longer resonate with anymore, all right? You found something new of entrance here, or you've just come to the terms with yourself that you now know what you want, Sagittarius. You now know your worth, and you know where to go to get just that, okay? The cherry card talks about removing yourself from people, from habits or patterns or a past environment or frequency vibration that you know is no longer for your highest good 
all right so they're now following their higher self and their lower self here with the black and white and going after what matters to them the most okay so i feel like this is how you all feel now on your timeline on whatever frequency vibration you're on you now going towards a environment here that you feel like is going to be more suitable for you or where you're going to be able to find yourself around people that are more like-minded Sagittarius like yourself, okay? Because forever, wherever, excuse me, you came from, it was not enlightening for you. You may felt stuck or you may felt stagnant, okay? Rather, this was a relationship that you were recently in that you just recently got up out of here or if this was a family circumstance here where you no longer felt comfortable or you no longer felt that, you know, you were evolving and growing and you're no longer on the frequency that your family may have been on or just the things that you're wanting to accomplish in your life here, Sagittarius. I feel like you now know how to do that and where exactly to go. All right. And this is why you're being guided down this new path or taking this new journey for yourselves. Yes, I love it, archers. Look at that. The hermit. Do you notice all these roadways here and these pathways? OK, this is another road that leads you to a journey here along with the path card or the pathway, excuse me, where there's a road being directed because again, you all are choosing a new direction here. Some of y'all, this could be a Virgo here, okay? Some of y'all may have exchanged energies here in the past with the Virgo here, or this could have been an ex of yours here or someone that you were in a relationship here with, either if it was a Virgo or a counselor here. Some of y'all are deciding now as well, Sagittarius, to isolate yourself from people or a situation again or a circumstance that no longer resonates with you because you have been feeling like you have been consistently coming across the same type of relationships or circumstances you are now deciding to take this path alone and figure out what's going to make Sagittarius happy and what's going to be the best obstacles for me to overcome in my future all right Herman Carr talks about removing yourself from a situation that, again, you know is not worth your time anymore, all right? So you're doing some soul searching, all right, when it comes to what it is that I need to know about Sagittarius. What is Sagittarius' gifts and opportunities that they have coming towards them? These are the questions and the experiences I feel like that you all are having Sagittarius on a collective energy here right now, and you're making sure that it's going to be for you and no one else, okay? You're making, because I feel like us being Sagittarius, I can say this because I am a Sagittarius myself, but we will take the shirt off of our back and give it to others before we tend to ourselves. We have a, you know, a habit of doing that, I would say putting others first before we put ourselves first right we're so quick to give to others enlighten others guide and teach others advise others but when it comes to ourselves we can kind of sometimes put that on the back burner but i feel like the more that you have done this for some of y'all this could have come overwhelming for you others through people other situations and circumstances it's shown you of wait a minute i can't forget about sagittarius i can't forget about me and because you may have done that and it's okay we've all done that from time to time including myself we just get back up on this horse and we move forward we go within and we figure out what is going to make us happy. And when you do that, when you come out of hermit mode, then you will know how to move forward when it comes to your life, when it comes to your relationships, or when it comes to your career and advance and whatever that is for you. Okay, yes, I'm loving the messages here today, Archers. Look at there and look what you run right into. The lovers, okay? Gemini energy here, Sagittarius. Some of y'all, this particular person here, it may be a Gemini, all right? But this talks about past life, okay? Past lifetimes together, all right? Some of you are recognizing a connection here or you will be running into a connection here or soon as you take this path or this new direction here, soon as you go within and do some healing and some searching and some soul searching here and working on your shadow part of yourself, 
then this is what I feel like you're going to walk into is someone that is on the same frequency, vibration, and journey as you. Some of you all, you have already met this particular person here. All right. Again, this person could be a Virgo. This person could be a air sign here or a water sign here okay but however this is someone that you've been able to connect more on a spiritual level here with and you're gonna find more of that because you've gone within you're not looking outside of you for validation or other people opinions and things like that you're tapping in spiritually here Sagittarius and because of that this is the type of connection that you're walking into all right rather if you met this person yet or not but this is the type of frequency and vibration that you're barking on okay so wow this is a beautiful reading here so far today i'm loving the messages here for you archers again definitely if it is giving you some enlightenment here on what you maybe was picking up intuitively about yourself about your spiritual journey here again don't forget to like subscribe archers we would love to have you here part of our soul family sagittarius and again be sure to adjust your notification bell for when i go live on this platform and i am now back available Sagittarius for personal readings. If you would love to book a personal reading with me Sagittarius all that information loves is down below in the description box alright. So as we close out I'm going to again use my raw tarot deck that I created to get more insight on the surrounding energies that are around you at this time or how people feel because you are deciding to move on from people, from situations and circumstances that you know now don't no longer resonate for you. All right, so let's see what we have here. Wow, we have if I could go back and change time, Sagittarius. Wow, very significant here. So someone feels like with you, they wish or feel like that they could go back and change the hands of times here, basically, because you have decided to move forward here. Someone else is being affected i feel like sagittarius by this here okay this could be an ex of yours or someone from your past this could be a past friendship that you had with someone this could be regarding your family people that you have exchanged energies within your family or a particular person or significant other of yours where they now feel like they wish they could go back in time and change whatever they may have done towards you or whatever they may have said towards you, Sagittarius. Someone now regrets what they may have done towards you. And this is why you decided for some of y'all to even isolate yourself to give yourself a check in to see what it is that is going on with me. Why do I keep running into these same type of people or experiences here, right? So I definitely see a lot of that going on here between you and your experiences and also energies that are surrounding you at this time. Wow, yeah, look at that gossip, all right? Others are gossiping about the fact that because you decide to move on, all right? Some people don't like that. All right, some people may wanted you to stay where you were at or stay in the frequency vibration or where you were at or where they were used to you being. But people don't understand, we all grow. We all evolve. We all become a better version of ourselves eventually the more we experience. Experience is the best teacher. And some people, it's hard for them to move on or take a leap of faith. But because you have that type of momentum, you're able to do that, Sagittarius. So it really affects others that you're able to do that, I'm sure, for some of you all. And they just do what they do best is run their mouths and gospel because they don't know what else to do because they're going to be the ones nine times out of ten that's going to choose to stay stagnant and stuck instead of evolving and growing, right? Yeah, look at that. I want you bad, Sagittarius. Well, well, well. And in other news, someone wants you really bad, okay? This could be the energy right here. Again, that could be a Gemini here others of you all it could be anyone all right anyone we know can embody the energies here of the cars but you definitely have someone here who definitely wants you bad here wow i drive by your place at night okay that's very significant there sagittarius someone here drives by your place at night here or someone keeps tabs on you okay rather this is someone again an ex from your past here someone that may know where you live here or again the individuals here that are gossiping i feel like someone is really having a hard time with letting you go all right because we see a lot of movement here 
with your energy and you deciding to move on. Some of y'all may have decided to move on from this connection that you were with this particular person or an ex here of yours and they're just having a difficult time with letting you go. Yeah, Sagittarius. <laughs> We got, I wish you was here, okay? So someone definitely wished that you were still here. They definitely wished that you were still around. Someone definitely misses you a lot here, okay? Yeah, look at that. I will wait for you. <laughs> someone is willingly as well to wait for you. So I'm picking up two different energies here, all right? I'm, of course, picking up someone here from your past, someone that you've already exchanged energies here with once before. And I'm also picking up someone new here with the lover's core energy energy and the I want you bad okay all right but yeah someone definitely here thinks about you still wanting to establish a relationship here with you I'm always checking my phone for you yeah someone still checks their phone for you someone still tries to see if you have reached out to them if you call them here this person could be checking their device and keeping up with your updates maybe you have a platform like I myself you could have social media, different websites here that this person checks in to see any posting that you're doing here. Yeah, last card here we have is everyone is talking about you, Sagittarius. Well, well, well. Well, what else is new, Sagittarius? Okay, so wow. This is what we have for you. I'm going to leave this portion of the reading here. So that way I don't scatter the energies too far out here. But however, definitely take what resonates for you, Sagittarius, and leave here what doesn't. So it gives space and opportunity for whomever needs the message here, okay? Again, if you would love to book a personal reading with me, however, what we you can focus more on your personal reading i'll be glad to assist you my email details again is down below in the description box for personal readings thank you again so tribe so family i appreciate you and your love and support i definitely look forward to assisting you all and thank you archers be sure to adjust your notification bells and be ready for when i go live on this platform as well thank you sagittarius you all take care Mwah. Bye-bye.